So this question says, in the xy plane, the point 25 lies on the graph of the function. So I'm going to just draw an xy plane really quickly. I'm going to mark my x-axis at least to the point 2, and then mark my y-axis. Again, trying to do my best to stay about evenly spaced. I know I'm not going to be perfect, and that's fine. So I have the point 25 that the question describes. If f of x, okay, if f of x is equal to k minus x squared, where k is a constant, what is the value of k? Interesting question. So all we know is that we have this point here, 2 comma 5. Now what does that tell you? Um, first, let me back up a little bit. This is going to definitely be a graph, or let's call it a plug-in picture question. And then specifically what we're actually drawing here, or the picture that we're drawing, is a graph. So having this in my mind is actually very helpful because anytime I have a graph question, whether the graph is given to me or I need to draw it myself, I pay very close attention to the points on the graph, um, in this case only one point, that's been provided. So what does this point on the graph mean? It means that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. Now we should also know that y and f of x are the same thing. So that means I could rewrite this as y equals k minus x squared. And now hopefully things start to make a little bit more sense because now I actually have some values to plug in for y or a value to plug in for y and a value to plug in for x. And then that leaves me with k being the only unknown variable, right? So I'm going to use this information and say, well, if I have y equals k minus x squared, then if I replace y with 5 and I replace x with 2, right? Because I know, again, when x equals 2, y has to equal 5, what happens here? So I'd have 5 equals k minus 2 squared is 4. I can then add 4 to both sides, and I'm left with k is equal to 9. So then because the question says that k is a constant, right, um, I can feel pretty confident that, well, if I get 9 as the value of k when x equals 2 and y equals 5, even though I know that's not the only point on this graph, the fact that k equals 9 at that point means k always equals 9 because the question says k is a constant. So your answer here will be 9.